Paul, you just wrapped up a run and it's been one of many, how many days in a row at the time of this filming have you ran so far? Uh, 1,184, at least one mile a day. And he's not kidding. So Apart what? from the record. <laughs> the record is over 50 years. A guy, a guy in California has run every day for over 50 years, at least a mile. So I, I, mine is over three, a little over three years now. Is that what sparked your interest to do this, or what, what exactly started all of this? Uh, I think I was interested in just seeing if I could do it. And I did one streak and I got hurt, and I had to stop after 326 days. As I turned out, I was running too much. I, I wasn't very organized. I, was, I run three miles one night, eight miles the next, six miles following that, nine miles after that, and it started to take a toll. Uh, and I, and I uh, made the error of switching shoes in the middle of the streak uh, to a different brand of shoes that the company said don't run far in these shoes at the beginning. Get used to it. Of course, I ignored it. I uh, wound up, uh, you know, messing up my legs and uh, blisters and stuff on my feet. So, I, uh, I, the combination of that and a couple other things, I had to stop that first trip. What yeah. has been that key to your success when it does come to staying healthy? Just doing it. Uh, and uh, now I'm at the point where I don't have any excuses. No valid excuse not to run. You really have to have a focus in life not to do something. Uh, there's really no excuse not to do something if you're really into it. And I'm into running. I mean, I was running in high school, wasn't very good. Uh, and then when I started running again uh, in my late 50s, I found I was competitive. I was not competitive in high school. Yeah. <laughs> so it felt good to be on the podium for 5Ks and 10Ks and, and win my age group. I've never really been a winner in that regard in athletics. So that felt good, so that was another motivating factor. Now, what you just said about having no excuses, that's extremely inspiring, motivating. There's a lot of people who are watching this journey of yours, whether <laughs> on social media or reading about you in yeah. Runner's World and magazines and everywhere. What do you feel about that in terms of uh, the impact that you're having on those viewers or those readers or just anybody who's just following along with your journey? It's great. You know, I, I've gotten some uh, you know, uh, comments on my Instagram feed and Facebook, how inspiring I've been to a few other people who have started their own streak. Uh, one person in particular, uh, she's not doing a, a running streak, but she's doing a walking streak and she's over 500 days now walking in a row. Uh, and that was a catalyst, my running streak, to uh, get her going. Uh, and so, you know, you kind of support everybody who, who has the, at least the, the notion of trying something like that. Mm -hmm. That's the first step. You get it in your head and go out and try it. Mm -hmm. And the most difficult thing is to keep it going. It only takes me, you know, 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes to run each mm -hmm. night. It's not like I'm devoting a lot of time to this. Yeah. Uh, so I always say, I go out, because I usually run just before midnight. I'll go out and do my run, and then I can go back home and get my beer and bonbons and watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. So at the point of the 5K that they had here at George M. Steinbrenner Field, how many days in a row was your streak? Well, it was, it was 1,181. I, I see no reason to stop, and that's, that's what people are, well, when are you going to stop, or how long are you going to go? I don't know. You, you, you have no idea. They asked Ripken how long he was going to continue his uh, hitting, uh, his uh, games played streak. No. You just go out there every night or every day and do it until something uh, compelling uh, makes you stop.